in 2009, Ashley and I were laid off and we were stockbrokers. And I had great advice from a CEO previous in the financial industry, Susan Ivey, who was the CEO of RJ Reynolds Tobacco. And she told me to find my passion. And so when I was laid off and I didn't know what to do, I looked to my passion and it was pickles. My biggest challenge was just getting started. You know, not knowing where to go to get our food, um, nutritional facts, to get it inspected. We went to pickle school at NC State University. And, you know, our challenge today that we still face is just not knowing what we don't know. Um, the way we started exporting was through North Carolina Export Department through the North Carolina Agriculture. They brought in Chinese buyers into North Carolina to find North Carolina products. Well, Miss Jenny's was one of them. Our experience with XM Bank has been invaluable. Again, we're a small business and what they've done is allowed us to offer terms to our um, foreign buyers without having all the risk. You know, they take 96% of the risk off a of small business. Without them, we could never do that. And exporting, 95% of the world lives outside the United States. If you're not exporting, you're, you know, keeping your customer base really small. And that's not what we want to do. We want to be a household name. The biggest challenge I see for small business and exporting is not knowing all the resources that are available. There are a ton of government, federal resources as well as state, but not knowing a central location to where to go and find that information on the internet has been just a huge hurdle, a huge hurdle for Miss Jenny's Pickles. Fortunately, I'm not afraid to knock on the door and ask a question, but a lot of people are. And I think uh, for small business, it's really hard. Well, one thing that I shared with Congress today that would make it easier for small businesses to export is to have a central location. I'm not trying to take something away from a small business or the U.S. Export Department or any of that. Hey, we just want to know how to find you and what you can do to help us. And so if Congress will put that website in place like I asked today, it'll change a lot of people's lives in the small business area. What I would say to every small business person is be a part of your chamber at your local level as well as the federal level and now we're part of the U.S. chamber and that's such an honor but what it does is it networks us all together to where it brings more resources to me and you know without being part of the chamber none of that would be available because I wouldn't know where to go. There are millions of Americans out there who don't know what to do, they don't have a job, and they could start their own company too, but they don't know where to go. And so start with your local chambers, go to the U.S. Chamber, and do it, because that's how we're going to get America back on track.